Construction 13, drawing a right angle triangle given the length of the hypotenuse and one of the other sides. For this you need compasses, protractor, ruler, pencil. First thing we need to do is visualise what we're looking at. So we've got a triangle called ABC where we have one side AB uh, which is 6 centimetres and another side BC which is 11 centimetres. And the angle opposite that side, angle BAC, is 90 degrees. Okay, this is our hypotenuse, the longest side. So, but just to confirm that, we create ourselves a right angle, uh, a triangle. Let's call it uh, ABC. The side AB is six. The side BC is 11 and the angle at BAC, BAC is a right angle. Now my sketch doesn't look like a right angle triangle, that doesn't matter. The key point is that you're putting on the key information. Now if you want to redraw it again so you can see the right angle, then so be it, and have it more to scale. Okay? That would be a more appropriate diagram. But it's not necessary. Okay? The key thing is you're giving a representation for you to then to follow. So, first thing we'll do is we'll draw our first side, which is the shorter side, which is six centimeters long. And that's A, B. Next thing we're gonna do is construct our right angle at point A. Line up the protractor. Starting from naught, inside scale, moving around to 90 degrees, that's what a right angle is. Placing a marker there, for us now to connect up that marker with A. It's the construction line, down to A. Lastly, we want to draw our hypotenuse. We know it's 11 centimetres, so we'll set up compasses to 11 centimetres. In fact, I haven't actually made that line long enough, so I'm going to have to do that again to extend that line out. So, and now you can just about see there we've got our intersecting point with B connected up. We now have our right angle triangle ABC.